So, this ship in Andor, the Cantwell class arrestor cruiser, is incredible, and let's talk about why. So, the Cantwell is obviously a unique ship in purpose, it has those large tractor beam projectors. However, its real life history I think is more interesting. Now, we covered it in a prior video, so I'll be short here, but essentially, the Cantwell class is named after the recently passed Colin Cantwell, who contributed a lot to Star Wars' early years. Colin Cantwell designed an Imperial ship, which obviously didn't make the cut for A New Hope, but was geniusly revived for Solo A Star Wars Story, although even then it was largely cut from action. It's now been brought back again as mentioned as the Cantwell class arrestor cruiser. However, I also want to talk about the tractor beam scene. Now, my friend Corey covered an aspect of this on his channel, I'll link his video up above. He correctly pointed out that taking down tractor beam projectors was really common in Star Wars Legends and it's also appeared in canon. It's pretty simple. You fire a torpedo or other explosive, the tractor beam projector catches it, pulls it into the ship, and boom. However, I actually thought they were referencing something a little different, the covert shroud technique from The Last Command. In that novel, they have a tractor beam lock on Luke Skywalker, and I quote, established a lock on the freighter when it broke up into a cluster of trace reflective particles. The targeting system tried to lock onto all of them at once and went into a loop snarl. So basically, a fighter will launch a bunch of particles, usually reflective, which will not only disrupt the tractor beam, but also overload the tracking systems. At the time of the Thrawn trilogy, there's actually no way of countering this, and when I saw the projectiles Luthen was firing, I thought that's what he was going to go for, but the result ended up, I think, being even cooler. That's just my thoughts, though. Let me know yours down below.